This is the grade six math practice test for T and ready. This is currently question number 13. The question says select each expression that shows a correct method for finding 36% of 400. This is important. Again, T and ready people aren't exactly going to burn extra ink to make something bold if it doesn't matter. Anytime you see each or choose all or any of those things, if you end up with only a single answer, you should start to question yourself. As a father of young children, if I see something broken in a room and two of them are standing there and I walk in, I should probably question myself if I'm only considering one of them as the likely person to have done it. I need to consider all options, as do you. So as we look at 36% of 400, we need to take a reasonable assessment of how much it likely is. 36% is around one third of something. So I have a calculator allowed section, so I, it's easy for me to make generalizations about what they would actually be. If I was divide by three, each size should be somewhere in this general area. So while I can assess this question as a procedural question, like what procedures would get me to the answer, I can also assess, assess the legitimacy of what these things give me to do to see if I have a legitimate answer. The first one, for instance, says 36 times 400. That's insane. There's no way that 36%, so a portion of 400, is somehow 400 times 36. That's just not the way that numbers work. And you can test it. See? Bananas. That's not even close. So just mark that off. You probably knew that wasn't the right answer anyway. But it's good to test. For the next one, if I look at 36%, I'm assessing the idea of having 36 parts out of 100, where 400 is the total number of parts. So this starts to move into a territory where I see things that make sense to me. Um, 436, that's great. I also should know, incidentally, that if I convert this into decimal form, which means put the zero there, 0 0.36, I'd multiply it by 400. That's how I find the percentage of something. Because I'm not dividing by 3, I'm multiplying by 1 third, essentially. It's not really 33%, but whatever. Um, so this is going to be involved somehow. But this looks pretty close, right? So I think this is probably one of the answers. I'll just test it. 36 divided by 100, and I'm using not a good calculator, so that works. That seems relatively familiar. That's pretty close to the 133 that I figured it might be. So that seems pretty good. It matches up procedurally. Great, that's fine. Um, for the next one, 0.36 times 400, we've already shown this. But there you go. Same answer. That looks pretty good. Now, the next one looks kind of crazy. It's like a mixture of these things, like a, the worst mixture of those two things. So let's just do a test there. Clear this out. 0.36 divided by 100. So things looking great so far, right? Nope. Looks crazy. No way. There's no way that 36% of 400 could be 1.4. It's just too small. So this one is definitely out. This one doesn't look too promising either, but we're still going to give it a go. Yeah, 14%. There's no way a third of 400 is only 14. So that's definitely out. So my answers are B and C. Now you may think, well, I can do all those in my head. Why would I need to check? And the answer to that question is because I have seen a ton of very intelligent students and students who had worked very hard, who didn't feel that they were great in math and finally worked it out and became really good at math, get to a test and make little careless mistakes because they didn't take three extra seconds to check. I'm having to explain these things and type all this stuff in. You don't have to bother with any of that. I would imagine to type every single one of those in and get an assessment of whether it's reasonable may take a minute and a half, maybe. But if you just do a quick assessment of what a reasonable number is, just look for reasonable numbers. It's helpful that you know the procedures, and even if you just wanted to check the ones that you picked, that's fine too. But these down here gave us crazy answers, and this one was the most, an A was the most bananas of them all. 
thousand something. There's no way that's 36% of 400. So I know that's not the correct answer. So even though you may not need the calculator here for the one day you take the test, maybe you just check your answers. There's no sort of prize for being the first person finished. Take your time and get them right because that's what determines in the future. It's basically just good practice for tests that actually matter, like the ACT and things like that, that can get you into a good school. So practice the steps that you need to now so you don't have to try to change all of your tactics when you get up to a test that actually matters and you need to take the extra time and steps. So there it is.